chief of the Huntsville Police Department saying tonight his department has evidence that the woman who was found dead inside an HPD van a week ago got inside the van on her own. Chief Mark McMurray says the department plans to show that video to Christina Nance's family and then to journalists tomorrow. The family of the woman found dead inside a Huntsville police van says family members don't believe the circumstances laid out by law enforcement officers. And today, the Huntsville Police Department released surveillance video of the parking lot where the van was to the family and public. The video shows the woman police say is Christina Nance near that unlocked van. Police say the, this security video shows Christina Nance getting into the van in the police department parking lot on September 25th, but her family says they last saw her on the 27th. The unlocked van had been previously used as a prisoner transport van. It didn't open from the inside, so she couldn't get out. Police say video shows her opening the van windows three days later on the 28th. Police also say her body was found in that van on October 7th, 10 days after police say she got in. But Christina's sister, Latasha, says the video isn't clear enough to answer all the family's questions. Like, I'm thinking y'all calling us down, you know, to show us some footage. You know, I was thinking it was going to be clear. Everything was going to be clear. You got, you know what I'm saying? There was going to be some type of clear indication. You know what I'm saying? Of my sister being, you know, of how she died. And there wasn't. Not any, at, like at all. Like everything was blurry. Like I don't even know if that was my sister. Yo, YouTube, me too. What's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all had a very great weekend. Also, my day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. Much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have an update to the story that I did Friday about the missing woman, Miss Christina Nance. And my condolences, number one, goes out to her family because this story is like the Kanika Jenkins story, just like I told you all from the beginning. Because I had a very strong intuition that when we see the video, if we even see a video, because who's to say if this the damn actual video? Only thing I'm gonna say is this right here is that shame on them because evidently in this day and age, people must think that everybody's gonna believe everything that somebody say. Now the chief. Was talking big cash money, you know what, uh, the last couple of weeks saying they have surveillance footage. Yes. And I did a video basically putting this story out there Friday. And thank you all for whoever watched that video. But at the same time, I uploaded a video around like wait, maybe like 10 or 11 that morning and about like 12 or 1 o'clock, a few hours later, I get an email basically saying that there was an update to the story. So I went and clicked on the link and everything. And then I sit back and watch the story, watch the video. I'm like, who the hell is this? We don't know if that was Miss Christina Nance or Honey Boo Boo or Kenya Moore or Phaedra Parks. We do not know. But I already hit you all with a backstory last week of the story about the missing woman, Christina Nance, who was allegedly missing for two weeks. And of all places, she wound up dead. Yes, found dead inside of a police van at the damn police station. And we heard all kinds of damn excuses. Now, listen, listen. I'm not saying that the police are involved in any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I am not stupid. You cannot sit up here, even though a lot of other people do that, including police. You cannot sit up here and say people are guilty without having sufficient evidence. So for people who are saying, well, Trey, you trying to uh, say the cops are guilty? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because number one, I understand one thing. I understand the law. And I also have law enforcement in my family. And I also have a lot of police who watch this channel. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to call a spade a spade all day long. If you're guilty, you're guilty. If you're not, you're not. All I'm going to say is that this story is highly suspicious. But anyway, I'm not going to tear it too long with this story. I know you all have a lot to do today. I have a few things to do. But anyway, I'm not going to tear it too long with this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet. And I'm going to get my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. HPD Chief says, video shows Christina Nance getting into van where her body was found. Now, the police said that Miss Christina Nance was walking through the parking lot all disoriented, but as you all can see from the video, this person was not that damn disoriented to me. Walk better than I do, you know what I'm saying? Walk better than some of you all do. Some of y'all got gout, some of your legs messed up and everything. And this person got us beat. So for them to say that this person was disoriented, how in the hell can you make a beeline across the parking lot? And guess what? You would think that this was around 6.30, or maybe 12.30 that night. Because for one thing I do know, and a lot of you all chimed in in the comment section, and thank you all for leaving your comments also, was that as soon as you step foot on the police premises, guess what? Those said cops will come out that building. No matter if you take them a couple minutes, 
they will see you on camera and come out. My thing is just also, so you mean to tell me that this woman make a beeline across the parking lot and we can't really tell who that is. We don't even know that's a man or a damn woman because the video is so grainy. You know what I'm saying? The video is bad production. But one thing I will say is this now, HD high definition been out for close to 20 years now for mass consumers. And it probably been out a little longer than that. And Hollywood probably been using it a lot longer than that. But we've been having HD for like 20 years. So you can best believe that we have HD cameras for the last 15 years, surveillance cameras and all that. So you mean to tell me that we could not get a better video, better footage of alleged Miss Christina Nance walking across the parking lot and walk around the van just to get in the other side of the van and ultimately lock herself inside the van. Now, a lot of people are saying, what kind of police van this is? We don't give a damn what kind of police van this is. Some people are saying this was the evidence van. Some people are saying it was an MH transport van. Some of them say that this van was rarely used. But one damn thing about it is that it's just a damn van. We are worried about how did the person wind up in the said van. And is this person really Miss Christina Nance that we see on video? Damn who the damn van is. But anyway, now authorities in Huntsville, Alabama are facing questions. Yes, tough ass questions surrounding the discovery of a woman's body in the back of a rally. Listen, used van in a parking lot. Now, notice how they throw a rally used van. It don't matter. The damn van is sitting right on the parking lot next to guess what? Running damn vehicles. And who would say if this van was rarely used or not? Because why in the hell would the van just be sitting there? And also, when did police just start leaving like old vehicles right there on their premises? Don't they take those certain vehicles somewhere else and leave those vehicles somewhere or auction them off? I'm just asking. Anyway, now it says a police officer discovered the body of Christina Nance on October the 7th. But hold on, pause. Now, this video was taken, they say, around September the 25th. But, but, Miss Christina Nance's family said they last seen Christina September the 27th. So who in the hell is this person walking across this parking lot on September the 25th? Because one damn thing about it, unless you have people walking on your parking lot all day long, which they do, it's a public place. But one thing you don't have is people walking across your parking lot, getting into vans, laying there, playing in the grass, and then ultimately dying in the van. They said she entered the van on the 25th, but she opened the van window on the 28th. So, best believe she wasn't trapped, just like a lot of people saying she was trapped. So, if she could open a window on the 28th, she would then have enough energy to hit the van or wave somebody down or bust a glass and try to get out. I mean, who in the hell, like I said in the last video, go to the police station and die? That's why I won't know. And also, if you are somewhere and you can't get out, you're going to do everything you can, even if it is cutting off, biting off your own damn arm or leg, trying to escape, if you can. So for them to sit up there and say that this person was trapped inside that van, but could open a window and move around in the van, that person wasn't too trapped to me. Anyway, the story also says that the chief said investigators eventually determined that Nance entered the van September the 25th around 12.30 p.m., but, like I said earlier, Miss Christina Nance's family say they last seen her to 20 damn 7. See, this story is more and more confusing. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to uh, put this video out and I'm going to leave it right there. If more evidence come along, yes, I will update you all. But it's clearly like a dog chasing his damn tail. We're going in a damn circle. Anyway, it says, during a news conference, McCarver walked reporters through a grainy, yes, grainy, you damn right, surveillance footage highlighting Nance's movements on September 25th, in the days following, as she opened and closed the window of the van. Now, you hear this shit? Now, one thing I'm going to ask for people who may know Christina Nance, and also family members or friends or whoever, did Miss Christina Nance have mental issues? Did she have something going on with her mentally that would uh provoke these type of actions? Or have she did things like this in the past? Because guess what? That would be a good indicator of what somebody may do in the future. So, did she have some kind of things going on with her or not? Because that may add some light to the story. If she didn't, I mean, shame on them. Because as we can see, we cannot make out who in the hell this person is on this video. And then you have people coming into the comment section like my team told me. And big shout out to the team. You have people coming in the comment section basically saying, you all are going to feel like idiots when the video come out. Well, guess what? Who feel like an idiot right now? Because we don't have idiots that watch this channel. We have number geniuses. Anyway, let me finish before I get in trouble. Now, the chief says 
Miss Nance is observed in the video. Notice how they keep saying Miss Nance. They're going to keep driving it in. Try to go songs that play on the radio all day long. They beat that shit into your head until you like the song. You know how like certain songs when you first hear you don't like, but then all of a sudden you hear it so much till you start liking it? That type of shit. Anyway, the chief says Miss Nance is observed in the video walking around the parking lot around 1230. You mean to tell me around the police station is at its busiest and nobody asks Miss Christina Nance what the hell she was doing laying in the grass walking around the police station like she lost or drugged up or sitting on top of police vehicles? You mean to tell me that they sit back and watch this whole thing? But guess what? You can say a lot of shit to make it fit your narrative all you want to. But one thing about it, evidently, this wasn't the case. Now, also, he says that Miss Christina Nance was walking around the parking lot on the 25th, McCarver said. She lays down in the bushes at some point, and she sits on the hood of a police car for some time. So for some time, that means you all had enough time since we are talking about time. I wish I had time to talk about time. You all had enough time to sit up here and maybe catch her in the act. I mean, what kind of police station and what kind of police sit up here and let people come on their parking lot play in bushes, sit on cars, get into vans, and don't nobody go and do a damn thing about it? Or maybe with nobody watching the camera system that day? Or do you all even have camera systems? Because evidently, the way the story goes, you don't. Anyway, he says this. She lays down in the bushes at some point and sits on the hood of a police car for some time. She then approaches other cars in the parking lot, and all this happens in a span of 10 minutes before she enters the van where she ultimately dies. I mean, do this make any damn sense? You all make it make sense. Like I said in the last video, make it make sense to me. Because one thing about it, this does not make sense. And once again, I am not accusing nobody of a damn thing. But if the shoe fit, wear it and wear it good. Because one thing about it is this right here. Is that you must stand for some or fall for all of the BS. But to sit up here and say that you all have video evidence showing Miss Christina Nance. We're thinking that we're going to actually see Miss Christina Nance in regular you know, HD quality, or at least what we can make out the person. But to get a video like this is a slap in the face to mainly the family and then also to the public because they could have been anybody. I mean, for us to sit up here and not have an outcry, basically you have a woman dying at a police station no matter what color she is, but the fact that we have a black woman dying at a police station inside of a police van should warrant an outcry from everybody. But guess what, though? I guess people don't matter until it hits that close to home to them or it's them. That's in trouble. That's when they care. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And I will keep you updated as more of this bullshit come out because I don't know what to say about it. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything you want to add, please do so in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and have a great day. And I'll see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.